Thanks very much. <laughs> I really appreciate your kindness, thank you. That's Should, great. Are you sitting? Oh yeah, sure. sit yeah, whatever you like. Sit, 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 sit. Cool yeah. sit. Let's do it. Yeah. Game of musical chairs right here. Uh, so does it still surprise you, the fandom around Harry Potter? I mean, it's been over 10 years now. You, you're obviously super familiar with it, but you, do you never get used to it? No, you never get used to it, and you certainly never get bored of it. Um, right. I only, I've only been to Toronto once before, and it was maybe for a handful of hours, so... I've been looking forward to coming back here for a while, and, and uh, having all these uh, friendly, excited faces makes it even better. So I really, I really appreciate you guys coming out. As I said off the top, I, I had the fortune to actually travel to London to, to visit the set up in Hertfordshire, if I'm saying that right. Hertfordshire? Is he saying? Yeah, roughly. Roughly, yeah. <laughs> um, why was it so important to keep this franchise, you know, filmed in London with, with British actors? And why do you think it turned out so much better than, than if it had perhaps been filmed in America through Hollywood? I dare not even comment on that. Um, no, I, as, as far as I know, it was just the uh, the request of J.K. Rowling. It was, it was all, uh, Rowling, rather. It was always her always her intentions to keep it in England and and to try and keep as many English people attached to it as possible. And we're very grateful because it's really done wonders for the English. Film, film franchise, um, you know, other than James Bond, we don't really have much going for us, and Harry Potter's kind of taken over that. And it's been What's out. James Bond? <laughs> don't worry about it, it's, it's, it's complicated. What do you think, when Daniel Craig retires, should Tom Felton be the next James Ooh. Bond? Yeah. Uh, rituals oh. or habits other than being in love with you? <laughs> You're a very interesting bunch. <laughs> You're exceptionally generous, uh, kind. I haven't met one person my whole time here who doesn't seem to be um, thrilled and excited and very smiley. So, <laughs> not that I'm talking bad about other nations, but, but you guys particularly seem exceptionally happy. So, it's great, great to have as a nation. The Canadians are a happy bunch for sure. I, I, I will come back. Uh, first chance I get, for sure. We're actually very sad. It's just when you're around, we get happy the rest yeah. of the time. <laughs> well, uh, Fan Expo is all about the fans, and you guys have uh, have waited to, to see Tom, so let's open the floor to questions. We do have uh, our producer, Michelle, Michelle somewhere out there, there jumping up. Oh, there she is. There she She's is. got a question. Question for Mr. Phil. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> I'm right here. Where are you? <laughs> Michelle's our boss. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you are. Please be nice Hello. to Michelle. Hi. Hey. Um, did you enjoy working with the other people on the set of Harry Potter? Not really. <laughs> There's only one answer to that, really, isn't there? Um, of course, yeah, yeah. I mean, not only the cast that you guys know and love, but also the crew as well. We were, we were very, very blessed to have... Um, it sounds very cheesy, but we were very much so a family. Um, I, I grew up with a lot of the, of the crew members and, and the cast as well, so... It's only since finishing, actually, that I've realized how extraordinarily lucky we were. These guys are uh, um, not only my colleagues, but also some of my best friends. So I feel very lucky to have had the last 10 years with them. Oh. And how are you doing in the wake of, you know, you're not shooting these movies anymore. You've had some time to do other things. How, how is that making you feel these days? It's depressing. You know. <laughs> I'm standing in a room just shining spells at myself. <laughs> Um, no, it's, it's, it's cool. It's, it's very different. It feels a bit like finishing university or or school, I guess, in a strange way. Now you've kind of graduated to the, to the big bad world. But um, yeah, it's been fun. And like I say, the more I spend, the longer I spend away from it, the more I realize how incredibly lucky we were uh, to be part of it. So yeah. Well, congratulations.